Following our free educational materials, you learn English in a great way with ease and efficiency. So Kim, have you ever had anything stolen? Stolen? No. Why? My uncle just had his motorcycle stolen a few nights ago. I was just thinking about how clever criminals are these days. Criminals are clever? They're only successful when people are careless. I don't know. The ones who stole my uncle's motorcycle were pretty good. If your uncle had an alarm system, then it wouldn't have happened. He did. It was one of the best ones available. But that didn't stop them from disabling it. And on a crowded street, too. Didn't anyone stop them? You would think that people would be smart enough to stop something like that. No one knew his motorcycle was being stolen. The thieves came in a truck and convinced everybody that my uncle was parked illegally and they were there to tow it away. Wow, they were good. I guess criminals aren't that dumb after all. That's not the end. They were so good that they convinced a bystander to help them lift the motorcycle and put it in the truck. Hello, Tom. I'm really glad to meet you here. I'm glad too, Stephen. I want to tell you that I'm going to divorce my wife. I'm so surprised. B, why did you decide to end your marriage suddenly? We don't get along well with each other and fight a lot. I didn't know that. I thought that you were happy together. That isn't true. Actually, we have been separated for six months. I can't believe it. But if you both determine to divorce, I hope you will have an amicable split. Thank you, Stephen. I accept your advice. Hello, Tom. I'm really glad to meet you here. I'm glad too, Stephen. I want to tell you that I'm going to divorce my wife. I'm so surprised. B, why did you decide to end your marriage suddenly? We don't get along well with each other and fight a lot. I didn't know that. I thought that you were happy together. That isn't true. Actually, we have been separated for six months. I can't believe it. But if you both determine to divorce, I hope you will have an amicable split. Thank you, Stephen. I accept your advice. Do you think I should buy this now and bring it with us? Don't bother. Those are a dime a dozen where we are going. Have we sold out all the newspapers for today? Yes. What a good job we have done. Why are so many extra gifts left here? Many customers didn't want them. How about giving them to that old man? Good idea. By the way, do you think it's a good idea to give free gifts to attract customers? I'm not sure, but still it did attract a large crowds today. I think it should be more useful to hand out some flyers which is also cheaper. But people can just throw them into the trash can as they turn around. That's true. Anyway, let's just finish out job and get back home. Okay, how tiring the job is. Did you have any hobbies? Yes, reading is my hobby. What kind of books do you like to read most? Many kinds of books. When I was a child in elementary school, I enjoyed reading fables and science fiction. When I became to a teenager at middle school, I was interested in detective mystery stories. Now I like reading romance stories. Are you in love? Why? People say only those that are in love like to read romance stories. 
Well, maybe. John, do you mind helping me prepare for the picnic? Sure. Have you checked the weather report? Yes. It says it will be sunny all day. No sign of rain at all. I'd like some toast and chicken wings. Okay. Please take some fruit salad and crackers for me. Done. Oh, don't forget to take napkins, disposable plates, cups and picnic blanket. That's great. We can also take the dragon kite with us. After the picnic, we can fly it. Cool. We can take shuttlecock and badminton racket. Okay. It sounds good. Fancy seeing you here, Lily. Yeah. What a surprise. How's everything going? Fine. Thanks. Excuse me. Is anyone in that seat next to you? No, I don't think so. Do you mind if I put my jacket there? No, it's no problem. Are you American? Yes, and you? No, I'm from Taiwan. Can't you see? Well, there are many Chinese Americans, you know. And your English is very good. You sound like an American. I don't think so. You are flattering me. No, really. I can only hear a little accent. Are you flying home? Well, yes. Actually, I'm going back to visit. You were visiting Taiwan? No, I'm going back to America to visit. I'm from America, but I don't live there now. I live in Taichung. Really? You live in Taiwan? Yes. Why not? May I ask what your job is in Taiwan? Sure. I teach history in a university. Have you heard of Donghai University? Of course. It's a good school. How long have you lived in Taichung? I have lived in Taichung for two years now. So this is the second time I am going back to States. I go back once a year to visit my family. It must be strange for you to live in Taiwan. No, it isn't strange at all. Many people from Taiwan move to America too, you know. Do you think it is strange for them? No. Well, I don't know. But Taiwan is so crowded. Don't you miss life in America? The country is strong only in appearance. Don't you think so? Yes. In fact, there are quite a large number of people who have no food to eat and no place to live in. You can say that again. The government must open its eyes to the fact. There are advertisements everywhere here in Hong Kong. The city is so bright at night, with all the neon signs. I like it. It makes the city feel alive. I like all the different colors and I like the billboards with eye-catching pictures and slogans. I think that there are too many of them. I think that companies spend far too much money on advertising. They should have lower prices instead. Then they would see more. I see your point. But if companies didn't spend money on advertising, no one would hear about their products. I agree that some form of advertising can be annoying. I don't like it when people try to give you leaflets with information about products you have no intention of buying. I really hate receiving spam. I also dislike having to listen to advertisements and jingles when they are broadcast in stores or on the subway. Yes, that annoys me too. With billboards, you can look away. But with broadcasts, you can't avoid them. I like the way that advertising agencies use comedy in their campaign. 
I like that too. I don't like the way that advertising campaign often tell you if you don't buy a certain product, you're not cool or modern or efficient or something. That kind of advertising seems to be very common with brand name products. They are always trying to maintain brand loyalty. Doris, Helen Mall is having a big sale this weekend. Do you want to go? Don't feel like it. I'm broke. Well, we can still do some window shopping, can we? Just look around? Nah, that's boring. I'll go by myself then. What's going on? Nothing really. How about you? A lot. Like the party I'm having on Friday. Well, that's cool. Will you be able to make it? I'm busy this Friday. I'm sorry. What do you have to do? I'm having dinner with my family. Maybe you can come next time. I'll make sure and come to your next party. I'll look for you at my next party. I'll be there. What's the name of the series just showed? Dr. Butcher. What a horrible name. Is it full of suspense? No, not at all. It's about how to keep fit. Tom, I married Julia last month. Have you already known it? No, I haven't. I'm so surprised at the news. Indeed, we got married too soon. Congratulations. But have you heard the proverb that if one gets married too hurriedly one may regret it for a long time? Yes. However, I believe that marriage comes by destiny. I knew I would marry Julia when I met her at the first time. How's your married life? We're happy together now. I have to say you're a well-matched couple. Thank you. The weather in Beijing is just beautiful. Autumn is the best season in Beijing you know? Yes. I can see. The summer heat is over. And the winter cold is still far away. What is the weather like in Washington at this time of this year? Autumn is also very nice in Washington. Is it very cold in winter there? No, it isn't. But sometimes it slows a lot in winter. Does it rain a lot in summer there? Oh. Yes. Sometimes it rains very heavily. How about here in Beijing? There's a lot of rain in summer. But it seldom rains in autumn. I feel it's rather dry here. That's true. Many people from the south don't like the weather here. Are you from south? No. I'm from the north. I was born in Beijing actually. I see. So this is your hometown? What time is our connecting flight? Let me check. Oh, oh, it's at 3.25. Wow. That's cutting it close. That means we only have 25 minutes to make the connection. What gate is it at? It's at gate 14. Oh, great. That's at the other end of the terminal. Okay, so here's the plan. When we land, run to gate 14. I'm be right behind ya. Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials.